Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Spartan. And I'm Pudgy. And we are back watching Breaking Bad, Season 3, Episode 5. So last episode, Walt was making moves. He was making moves on teachers. He was making moves on Saul. He was making moves on who else? Yeah, and by moves... He was to bash everyone. By, Ted. And by moves, you mean the man thought it was in WWE and was going for the knockout. <laughs> he actually was. Man, <laughs> man had a vendetta against everyone. He was going to just kick the shit out of everyone. Oh my God, that is so funny. I mean, the man got fired for making moves on that other teacher. Yeah, I think Walter's life is well and truly hitting rock bottom, which is then going to lead him back to the one thing that's kept him feeling purposeful and powerful. Mm -hmm. And I just think it's all heading towards that. Well, Big Bad Gus is not really allowing him to have that grace. I mean, he's given him a grace period, but he's slowly manipulative working his way into Walter's life again, trying to convince him to start cooking, to start getting back in the game. Yes, but honestly, not that much. Like, he's really just letting... Yes, he's got information and intel on how he's going so he can make a decision, but really, everything that's happened to Walter so far is he's doing. His wife is he's doing. He's yes. losing his teaching job. He's doing, you know, all that's him. Yes, but what I'm saying is, you know, Jesse came to make a deal. Usually... He said it himself. He does not do business with junkies. Now, he made an exception because when Jess is in the game, Walter wants to play. So he was very smart at doing that, especially even giving Jesse half and then giving the other half to Walter when he had no idea what was going on. Yeah, yeah. Very smart. He is smart. But I, also, I still sort of blame Walter for that because rather than being proud of his protege for being able to maintain... A product that he doesn't want to part in he wants out but doesn't want his skill set to be used as well yeah. so walter's just he's got one foot in each world mm -hmm. and he wants the best of both when it suits him and he's just playing a stupid game at this point yeah and so he's also becoming an easy target like a hundred percent gus just knows his weaknesses sticks the knife in and twists in a very polite way <laughs> <laughs> yeah true very very subtle <laughs> on the other hand our girl skylar is well and truly got her lasso around the Ted lasso. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that made sense, but you guys get what I'm saying. She's, uh, you know, stuck the needle in the haystack, as they say it. Well, didn't he? Well, stick actually, a he stuck the needle. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Reverse that, but she's the haystack. <laughs> Point is, she's having a good time, mm -hmm. but you can tell she's got a guilty conscience as well. So she's sort of, you know, she's still a mother, she's got a yeah. newborn baby. Well, I don't know that it's a guilty conscience. Like, it might be that, but I also think it's just, well, she wanted to use Ted for fun and for relief, but Ted obviously wants more. And she she knew deep down, 100%. And so she took that opportunity and ran with it. But now that's catching up to her. Like, Ted wants her to move in and she's kind of realizing, oh, shit, like, this isn't what I wanted. I just wanted something casual. Even asking questions like, where did he, he screw up so I don't make the same mistake? And mm. I was kind of like, oh, shit, that's very forward. Like, you've yeah. only been sort of having sex so far and now you're asking how do I keep you happy for life? It's a mm. big, uh, big shift. And then Hank, where we left off with, I'm pretty sure his superiors just allowed him to stay where he is, stay put, leave El Paso behind. It's well, it was his decision in the end. He had to agree to it. Yeah. So, yeah, the man's well and truly on Heisenberg's trail. He's that blue crystal has surfaced again. Yep. And he's not letting it go. But at the same time, he's becoming uh, just a bit of a dick, to be honest. Like, with his partner, I get it. I think he's going through a lot emotionally. Yeah. But he's just becoming really aggressive and blunt and cutthroat at the moment. Yeah. I think that's just the signs of the PTSD coming out. I'm, I hope that his mates don't take it too personally, especially his best mate. I need to remember his name. But, yeah, I am looking forward to seeing the old Hank back. Um, but it is quite interesting just seeing him go through what he's going through. I um, mean, does it add an element, like an extra layer to the story? But what I'm all, like looking forward to the most is all the close calls between Walter and Hank. Thank you to everyone supporting us over on Patreon. If you do want to join the Spider-Man Pudgy family over there and get three to four weeks of early access to the edited or uncut reactions, we'll leave a link in our description. 
you're watching over on YouTube and you enjoyed today's reaction, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel for more, and let us know in the comments down below what you thought of today's episode. All right, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I am awake. Oh, yeah, do you remember when he said that? Yeah. What the hell? This feels like ages ago. Holy shit. You are a drug dealer. Negotiate. Buy the RV. Holy shit. This is before they even began. Wow. That's a throwback and a half. Damn. Oh, fun. <laughs> Yo, Jesse. Oh, I got okay. these two fine ladies. Oh, oh, so this is back then too. Wow, combo. Like to meet my fat stack? <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, I think he's blowing Walter's money here. So how did he get the RV? Interesting. It's 400 a bottle. Oh, well, in that case, I'll only have two. Oh my god, big spender, Jesse. What the hell? So was he planning on robbing Walter initially and then maybe something changed his mind? Why'd you get on a chatter? Must be moving mad volume. It's totally funny. You wanna know it's funny? <laughs> What's well, funny? This old dude, he gave it to me. What? Oh my god. True, okay. it could have easily gone that way and he just ran off with it. Yeah, so what happened? Now I'm interested. They're having the time of their life and that sack is getting smaller and smaller. Yeah, okay. So this is going to tie into how he got the RV, not the way we thought he got it. I can totally get you an RV. No, I need it today. Now. No problem. Let's go. Interesting. So it's linked to combo. Oh, no. Pleasure doing business with you. Mm. Come on, we gotta bounce. What? For real, yo, get it out of here. What did he do? Who was inside? That, that's shady. Very shady. Did he just steal it? Oh my God. Oh my God. Man can't drive for shit. <laughs> what the hell? This is a mess. Okay, so how is that going to tie into the episode? Interesting. Who knows, it may not even tie into this one. The kid threw a bag of money through my window. Whatever, man. You owe me that money. Well, let me talk. I you. owe you. I owe you nothing. And I will get to the bottom of this. Trust me. Oh, he will be getting to the bottom of it. All I know is I got half the money. All I know is. Escalating, you're escalating. You escalate this. My meth, my money. Oh, he said that once, I think. 24. Oh, oh shit. shit. Well, you're getting back in the game, whether you like it or not. Oh, look at the two worlds he's in. He's in like a baby's I room know. and then this dark closet. Like, it's just crazy. I think that contrast is iconic. Is that Hank? Near the RV? Mm. It is, and he's watching Hank. It is too. Is this present time? Because if Hank looks up reported stolen RVs, he can find it potentially. I'm not letting this suffer on my side. He's so close. Oh my god. Gotta be a way. Gotta be a way. He's hooked to it. It's like eating him up inside. Everyone's addicted to something, hey. It's like Hank's almost getting his adrenaline rush as well by operating outside the law now, you know? He's got a taste for doing things his own way. What are you doing? Oh, someone's in there. That's very dangerous. Oh, if they look up, that'd be hilarious. <laughs> They're full playing strip poker or something. <laughs> oh my god, hang. <laughs> oh shit. So what happened with their RV then? Maybe it's just different. I'm gonna check out a couple more, then we're gonna call in the morning, okay? What do you say? 
Can't. Gotta get home. Might you leave your balls in your wife's purse or what? Got a pack. <gasps> oh, shit. Where are you headed? No way. Texas. He took his job. He took the job that Hank didn't. Oh, shit. Oh. Wonder what that means for them. Steven's going to El Paso? Yeah. I was just wondering how you feel about that. Turn it down. End the story. Good. Yeah. It's hurting a bit, hey. I think his ego's bruised because he's used to being number one and he, his mate being number two. You know that you can talk to me about things, right? You don't have to go through this alone. Oh, Hank. I mean, after what happened last time, it would make perfect sense for you to not want to go back. I'm on to some important stuff right here, right now. I'm not doing some actual good out here and all I get are these bullshit accusations. Oh, damn, I feel his pain, man. He's really counting on finding Heisenberg. He's going to give it his all. I think it's a bit of both. It's also a coping mechanism because he's afraid to go to yeah. Mexico. What exactly is this? <laughs> oh, shit. As if I would seriously believe you would hire an addict. <laughs> Jesse Pinkman? You vouched for him previously. I took you at your no, 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 no. But let me be clear. Oh, I'm ready, baby. Jesse was capable of working under my supervision. Trusting him with a solo venture? Well, that, that's quite another matter. He's going to let you keep talking because you're going to talk yourself into it. How he could possibly produce anything other than a mediocre product at best. I am told his product was more or less consistent with the quality I had come to expect. Oh, shit. More or less. Really? Wow. Boy, that is... Uh, talk about setting the bar low. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize for being so transparent. Would you take a drive with me? I'd like to show you something. Hey, when Gus asks you to drive, you drive. I know, far out. He won't talk to me. He hardly even comes home. He works all day, all night, barely eats, barely speaks to me. It's like something's eating him away from inside. It's very relatable, isn't it? Facing death, it changes a person. It has to, don't you think? Oh! oh it must have changed him a lot. Oh, shit! Oh, Marie! Head down to Marie! He's giving her a bit of an empathetic... Consideration, I guess, that she, yeah. that she hadn't had. Yeah. She always comes with the unexpected perspective, doesn't she? I thought I hate Marie when we first met her, but I should not mind her. I love her. Oh, shit. He's showing him the factory. He must really want Walt from not wanting him to wanting him. Secret vault. That's pretty cool. I think. Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, shit. Goes downstairs. Oh That's a big sign of trust. A guy as careful as Gus showing Walter all this. Yeah. He really wants him. Wow. Especially, like, not knowing which way he'll go. I'm sure Gus knows, but... What is this? Your that means lab. cave. Oh, he's giving him a lab that's secure. Now that is a game changer. Holy shit. No way. Gus is the big client that they've wanted. He was to distribute and sell it all. He's got the setup. It's a perfect situation. My God. He respects the chemistry and its instruments. <laughs> Look at the size of 
this reaction vessel. Oh, it's got it's got to be 1200 liters. He's in heaven. Oh no, like kid on Christmas. The filtration system is state of the art. It will vent nothing but clean, odorless steam, just as the laundry does. He sounds like God speaking now. You can't see him, but it's like. 200 pounds per week to make this economically viable. 200? You would choose your own hours, of course. Come and go as you please. So long as the quota is met. It's a pretty good deal. I wonder how long it will take to make 200. Sorry. The answer is still no. Wow. I knew we'd say it to begin with, but it's a matter of time. Why did you make these decisions? For the good of my family. And then now? They weren't bad decisions. Oh. <laughs> what does a man do? Oh Mark. my God. A man provides for his family. <laughs> oh shit. He's good with his tongue. When you have children, you always have family. They will always be your priority, your responsibility. And a man? Man provides. Oh, <laughs> dear, the way he said that. Excellent delivery. Even when he's not appreciated or respected. Even when he's not appreciated. He simply bears up and he does it. Yeah, I think it's a lot, lot from experience. Because he's a man. He's not wrong. No. Nah. But the subject they're talking about is wrong. <laughs> So watch this, as soon as Skylar like maybe gives him a chance, he's gonna go balls deep into it. Yeah. Are you gonna give all this up for uh, Walt? Oh, interesting, interesting. Um, can't- can Very I awkward be, can be excuse family dinner. To do homework or to play video games. I can multitask. <laughs> yeah. She's in a very good mood. You wouldn't want him to leave though, because he's the buffer between the two. She wants him to leave, all right. Oh, true. Oh, he so badly wants to pick her up. His face. Oh, that made me emotional. Like, this is going to be the last bit of Walter we're going to see, so I'm going to enjoy it. <sighs> so much was said in, you know, those few words. <sighs> is she crying, it looked like? Oh, well, she was crying, yeah. She must be so confused as well. And she's also done damage as well. So living that with that guilt, with that pressure. Oh, man, it's sad. Half the reason he started was because he wanted to set them up with a newborn and now... Welded on the back of a house. Well, that's classy. Christ. This was Hank's going away party, remember? Not so long ago. Yeah, I think it's time for Hank to step it up, man. His friend was always there supporting him and... <laughs> Wanna know how to say, get bent in Spanish? <laughs> <laughs> Still going native on me, all right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> he's really got to put it on. Yeah, he's struggling. His friend knows. Here. Know your enemy at all. Probably concerned for him a little bit too. He knows how dangerous it is. Good fight, brother. Well. What he couldn't do. There's a lot of emotions there. Or hunch was right. One more RV. DMV said the registration wasn't renewed, but then they realized it was never filed as non-operationally destroyed. Oh. No way, that's it. 
He'll get that trail and then they'll would have moved where they cook. <laughs> Poor man's chasing ghosts. I know. Oh no. Don't snoop, don't snoop. Well, she knows everything anyways. I don't feel like she's snooping. I feel like she's considering doing his laundry or something. She's seeing the money. The money that he offered. Probably remembering what he said it was for. Okay, yeah, my, my hunch was way off. I was just going to try and care for him a little bit again, you know, but never mind. It's a ghost pardon. It's all right. <laughs> Maybe she's starting to appreciate what drove him, you know, looking at all his efforts to try and look after the family, I guess. Potentially. I'm paralyzed. Like, if I take a step in any direction, I'm going to make a spectacular mistake. Yeah, she doesn't know. She's also got her foot in two, two worlds. She's become like her psychologist. Breaking news is I am sleeping with my boss and I don't know why. Wow. It's a lie. I, I, um, I do know why. I think they just changed her lipstick color. What the hell? <laughs> right in the middle of the scene. Guy, he's, 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 he's a really good person, but I mean, it's not like we're ever gonna. <laughs> See? Changed again. You're ruining the same for me. <laughs> so then he'll sign? Nope. Um, Walt says he's not going anywhere. So that's a that's a really brilliant gambit on my part. That was <laughs> <laughs> Oh god. And maybe what he did, he, he did it for the family, right? Well, guess what? That is one enormous load of horseshit. Oh, shit. Damn. You are now an accessory after the fact. Oh, true. You, your children, you could lose everything Holy you own. Shit. Do you understand? All courtesy of this criminal you refuse to divorce. I think Skylar's still willing to risk it all. Damn, dude. That's like the harsh reality of it, I suppose. Like, when you take emotion out of it, really, they're the facts that you left with. But will Skylar be able to accept him as a criminal? Oof. I never considered that, but now I am. Oh, I had considered it, but now I'm considering it again. <laughs> wow. Oh, shit. She made his decision. Money's gone and everything. Does that mean he's working with Gus? Like, I'm assuming so. I think so, but I don't think she knows if she's happy or not now. <gasps> he really listened to Gus's words. Yeah, he's made his decision. Holy shit. And when he finally made it, I don't know if she wants him to make it. Oh, shit. He's back, baby. <laughs> Hello, Walt. Good to see you. Please, uh... Have a seat. Here. <laughs> Mr. Pinkman, if you will. <laughs> Soul's trying to be all civilized and shit. For your valuable contribution to the business thus far, I'm sure you'll agree that's fair. That's charity is what that is. He agreed to it, but he's not happy about it. He sits around on his fat ass judging people. Hey, hey, hey. escalating. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, uh, a mistake was made on the part of our mutual associate when he paid you half of Jesse's earnings. He must not have realized that you two had come to a parting of the ways. Take it. Okay. All right, hey, Walter. Uh, I want to see uh, where you go with this. Spend it in good health. That is the last money you'll ever earn in this business. Oh, shit. No, why is kicking him out? I hate to break it to you, Jesse, but our 
mutual associate was only using you to get to me. Oh no. I don't want their friendship to go down a shitter. There's no way he's kicking Jesse out like that. You tell me you cooking again? Yeah. Let's see how should I put this? I'm in. You're out. Come Why on. Why is he Walt. playing it like that, man? What's he done? Come on. He was his one friend. That's uh, three million for three months of my time. Well, you, you're going to need that money laundered, right? I mean, of course. Soul wants a cut. <laughs> Let's settle on an even 15. That's a nice round number. 5%. 50. 14's fair. 5. 13. 5. 12. For old time's sake, 12. 5. Oh, dude, he knows he's got... It's going by the balls. What in the hell just happened? Oh, you're shit. my lawyer, not his. That's the way of the world, kid. Go with the winner. Oh my god. Cook whatever you like. As long as it's that ridiculous chili pea or some other dreck. I don't even think about using my formula. He's trying to stop me, bitch. Oh no. Man, why is Walt gonna do him like this? Like, why can't I just come together? He can always cut Jesse in, just do it. <laughs> Just gets his windshield fixed and now it's ruined again. Damn, I didn't see that coming. I didn't see... Because Jesse wasn't trying to kick him out. He was like, you don't want to cook. I've got to survive without you. Whereas Walt's come back with a vengeance. Like, I don't, I don't vibe it at all. All right, here's this son again. Oh, Hank's there. This is the house. Hi, I'm Hank Schrader uh, with the Drug Enforcement Administration. We're interested in an RV that's registered to your name and address. It's a combo's parents. I did. It was stolen months ago. Must be Combo's parents, yeah. Well, then I'm, I'm curious as, as to why the theft was never reported. I'm not seeing any records of it with the police or the DMV. Oh, no. I didn't want him arrested. He ran with a bad crowd, but he was never a bad person. Oh, Combo. My son. I'd really like to speak with him. Yeah, well, you he can't. Away. He was shot two months ago. Oh, man. Is he going to put two and two together? Is his nickname Combo? Mm. I don't know. Yeah. Are there any leads to connect Combo to Jesse? Maybe. I'm not sure. Well, if he has information about Jesse in there somewhere. Like a card or anything. Jesse didn't go to the funeral. He's got a Nintendo 64. Sweet. Oh, is there a photo of them? Oh. Oh, no. That ain't good. Jesse Pinkman keeps coming up. I don't know about you, but I felt like that episode went on forever. I felt like we caused so much. Me too. Yeah, it is like a very long episode. It's saying here 45 minutes. So no, that, that's an excess. Oh, but I think it's the same length yeah. as normal. But yeah, like it, there was a lot in it. It was very, I just felt like there was a lot in that. A lot of emotional moments, very drawn out. I mean, I don't think there was a single person there of the main cast we didn't see in a state of emotional turmoil and at mm. a crossroads in their life. Yeah. Marie, Hank, Skylar, Walter, Jesse, all, all of them. Yeah. Like it was very interesting that they all sort of reached this crossroads point with both their good and bad decisions and, and, and their moral conflict, I guess, mm. in this episode. And we explored that. It was, yeah, wow. And then we obviously see the other side of it of potentially how they're going to deal with it. And I feel like they all almost covered each other's bases from Walter theme being about providing and bearing the burden of potentially fighting for a greater cause, but having to be hated for it. Mm -hmm. Then Skylar feeling like she's drowning other than something that makes her happy. I mean, that's very relatable to Walt, isn't it? He probably felt like he was drowning in feeling like a failure as a father in his life, dying of cancer yeah. until he had, one thing that made him feel like he wasn't. You know, you can relate that. And, and then, then Hank. 
Then you've got Hank very much going through what Walter was going through a long time ago, and then Marie going through what Skylar was going through. But she almost empathized a little bit, a little bit better. Yeah. Where a man that's been near death and seeing certain things is not the same. Because Kyla was really concerned with herself. And I get it. But she was really concerned with herself when Walter was sick. Probably because she was pregnant too. She was a little bit more like self-preoccupied in that sense. Yeah. Just like, you know, the decisions that Walter was making. Like, I don't want the treatment and things like that. It's like, well, how can you do that to me? Not really considering how he would feel about it. So... I feel like Marie's better at that. Yeah. Even when she said, I don't know how I feel about it. And we are both like, uh... And she's like, I don't know what's, what he feels about it. Like, what makes him happier? And I'm like, okay, cool. So she really is thinking about it. Well, I just, I'm okay with either, but what's best for him? Yeah. Not necessarily how is it impacting me. Mm. So, yeah, that's an interesting thing. Got a lot, really, lot of depth characters this episode. Yeah, I really do like Marie. I think she kind of was a standout for me this episode. Yeah. Yeah, at the beginning, she was just like Skylar's bitchy little sister. Yeah. And she irritated me and she's come a long way and now I actually quite like her. Yeah. I am really, yeah, taken aback, I think, by the way Walter's just cut Jesse out. Mm. As I said before, I just feel like Walter is being a lot harsher in this. Jesse's intentions weren't... They weren't malicious. At all. They weren't. There was no part of him that was trying to cut Walter off. Like, he came and said, all right, man, you don't want to cook look what I've done. Like as a, almost like a proud son or a proud protege. Like I've, I can do what, you know, I've learned because yeah. you always bag me for being dumb and not understanding chemistry. Well, look what I've done. And then rather than get the praise of like that fatherly praise of looking for, because very much Walter's probably the father that Jesse doesn't have. Yeah. And he just got slammed and Jesse went, oh, well, I'll do it on my own. Then if you're not going to, you know, give me any love or, or, or reassurance and then got slammed again. And like, let's remember, Jesse was a student of Walter's and there was a period where he wanted the attention from Walter to, you know, be proud of him. And he was always, you know, searching for that in his life. And yeah, Walter finally gave it to him in small doses, finally one of the big shebang and yeah, take well, it. Well, it helped him sober up and cared for him at certain times. So you really felt that. And just yeah. now it just feels, I was expecting Walter to be like, you're out, but you can come join me as a partner again or something. But now Walter's doing a big power play. Mm. Even if he does come in, I feel like he'll be like, Jesse, come in, but you're under me. Like, you know, they were partners. And now he's got this, this constant ego hierarchy on Jesse. And I just feel like it's unfair because Jesse has been the one guy who's gone through everything with him. Yeah. And has kept all his secrets, carried all his burdens. I mean, dude, like what more could you ask of the guy? I get it. They had a rocky ending where maybe Walter feels like he had to let Jane die because of Jesse. Like maybe there's a lot of resentment there. Well, I'm even the way things worked out with Jane, I suppose, he could he could feel a bit hurt that Jesse was pretty much ready to abandon him for Jane. Yeah. And so I guess they've I do get played it. their yeah. parts, but yeah, it's yeah, well, there's a lot lot, lot to that. It's interesting with Skylar. There's a lot of emotion involved. And so that's why it's not so black and white. And that's why I kind of knew that she would struggle with the decision. But she really is going through a lot as well. She is carrying a burden of, I am the bitch. I am the bad man. When everyone sees Walter as this knight in shining armor, this, you know, perfect guy that is going through cancer and they're not really considering, okay, well maybe it is for a good reason and I'm not telling you for a good reason. And she's willing to carry that burden. Not only I think for everyone else, but I think for herself as well. I feel like once you voice something like that, it's easier to make a decision to cut someone off. But when you're the only one that knows, you're allowed to sit there. It gives you time to sit there in your emotion and just kind of go back and forth with everything. So I think as much as it is for her children and everyone else, it is also for her too. Interesting little tie-in at the end there with Combo. We never really yeah. considered that the RV was obtained by different means. So that's yeah. left a trail, that one, you know, and I guess that highlights somewhat can see where Walter will be fed up with Jesse because he does often do irresponsible and short-sighted decisions which jeopardize them. And this is yeah. one example of that where... In good faith, Walter gave him entire life savings. He delivered, but only by a whim and not, you know, not without cause. And now that RV has a trail, mm. it's going to lead to Jesse. And I wonder, because that's very close. And Jesse's yeah. pissed off at Walter too. 
Now, I don't think you'd give him in, but still, it's... Well, Jesse gets caught. Walter's not really around for that yet. So, I don't know. I don't know. They obviously know certain information about Heisenberg, that he's bald and this certain age and whatnot. That's obviously not Jesse, but he's going to grill Jesse, to, like, tooth and nail to get what he needs out of him. When Hank realizes that Walter's Heisenberg, it's going to be such a profound moment. I can't wait. It's going to be such a, like, a holy shit moment. I know. But I do like the storytelling. Like, at the start, we, we literally went back to just before they started cooking. And, I, yeah, I don't know. I, the way they're telling the story, it's it's just kept everything really fresh. So I'm enjoying that. Guys, we hope you've enjoyed our reaction to this episode. If you did, don't forget to leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel for more, and let us know your thoughts on the episode in the comments down below. Take care of yourselves, and we'll see you guys in our next reaction. See you guys.